It's gonna be a productive day. I'm feeling it, I'm ready to work. Today's video is actually sponsored by Crest Aligner Care. You're probably thinking, where the heck is my retainer right now? Honestly, I feel that because I maybe wear my retainer three times a month and when I do I just feel like it's not as clean as it should be So when I heard about the crest aligner care regimen, I was like Okay, that is like a product I need in my life and obviously I brush it with my toothbrush when I'm about to put it in But I just feel like it's not doing the best job today We're gonna try out the three minute rapid cleaning tablets. I just got my retainer from my bathroom But we're gonna do it in my kitchen. So I got the warm water now I'm gonna just place the tablet in. Now it's time to put my gross retainer in the solution. And we're gonna let that soak for three to five minutes. If you did want a deeper clean, they do have the deep cleansing tablets and this one takes 30 minutes to soak. Also helps with the surface stains on the retainer. I just poured out the solution, but now it is time to rinse. Now I'm just patting them dry before I put them in my retainer case for tonight. If you guys have a retainer or a mouth device, I highly recommend checking out this regimen, especially the three minute cleansing tablets because y'all know how gross your retainer can get. So you can actually purchase that at Walmart. You can order it online. I'll have a link down below or you can purchase it in store. So thank you to Crest for sponsoring this video. Y'all already know the first step to having a very productive day is to get dressed up. And even if it's in like a nice lounge set or whatever um i actually just got this one from skims and it is so freaking cute i have been eyeing it for a while now actually and i was gonna go with like the more neutral color but i was like you know what snolly you said you were gonna add more color in your life and now is the time to do it this color is called mineral on the site it has a ribbed material and they call it like a waffle material on the site but yeah just wanted to show you guys my cute little set. It's actually 12 p.m. right now, and I woke up at 6 a.m. this morning, and I'm trying to get back into that habit of doing that and just getting my workout done for the day because you guys know I'm doing 12 to 30, and I start work at 7 on the weekday, so I just like want to try to get it done before work, and so I'm trying to stick to that on the weekend. We'll see if I keep up with this, but so far, so good, um, and then I went to two hands with one of my friends for brunch, but honestly... I vlogged it like in the past 500 vlogs, so I thought I would spare you guys this time and not show you guys my same avocado toast, but it's okay. Now it is time to be productive. We're back home and I actually have to film a few videos and send out photography contracts and get all that stuff done. So you know what? We're going to do that first. We're going to go to our computer, do a little computer work for a little bit, and then figure out the timeline of today. Not that I get that many DMs on Instagram, but I thought I would share this little life hack with you guys. You can actually answer DMs on your computer. So if you happen to be one of those people that do get a lot of DMs or get like an average number of DMs and just like wait to do them all in one sitting, like doing like a time batch kind of thing, you can actually answer them on your freaking computer. You just log into Instagram on um, Safari or your browser or whatever, and then you can click your messages and reply there. And I actually type faster on the computer and sometimes like my thumbs are way too big for my keyboard on my phone that I always make typos and I hate autocorrect. Like, Absolutely not. I don't do autocorrect. So it just takes me a little bit longer on the phone. So I'm gonna answer a couple DMs and then look at my emails. And then also I have to reach out to people to schedule their grad sessions and then send out photography contracts. So we got a lot of computer work to do. Let's get to it. I've been putting off filming videos for so long now and now I'm just gonna like set up stuff because I think that's like just the most annoying part is to set up all my lights and my tripod and everything like that. It's honestly not that hard, it's just annoying. Um, but this tripod is one of my favorites and I've had so many tripods in the past, but it's very like lightweight and very compact. Um, a lot of my other ones were just so bulky and I really wanted one that I could travel with and put in my suitcase really easily. Um, so I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. Then I have these lights, they are the LED panel lights. And this has been on like my list of things that I want to get for my business, I guess, for so long. And I finally bought them, I think last year. Um, but before that I was using box lights, which are massive. They just feel like they're taking up so much space, especially in like a small room like this, that I don't already have a lot of room to, you know, move around. You can like turn this thing over here and put it wherever you want, but I kind of like to bounce 
the light like against the walls and just kind of create like a lit room like that and not have it directly on me especially in the daylight when there's already some light in here it does look like okay on camera like this camera but I feel like for sit down videos and just like hauls in general I definitely want it to be as well lit as possible so I think I'm gonna put this light over on no wait I don't know uh I don't know I don't know okay we're gonna do this put this light over here and then this light, I just have it pointing directly. I'm honestly not the greatest with lights. You kind of just have to play around with it. So it honestly does take a while to just kind of learn like about that kind of stuff, but it's all trial and error and it's really hard to just tell you like what to do. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna have this LED panel just pointing directly to me. Now I'm gonna film a very freaking exciting video. I honestly think I've just been pushing it off because I want it to be perfect and I've just like been a little like scared that it's not gonna be perfect, but I think I just need to start and I think, you know, my personality will shine through and I think I'll really have fun with it. Um, but Skim sent me some stuff. I know you guys saw it in the last vlog. If you didn't, I'm freaking hyped. They sent me so much shapewear and I'm gonna do a whole video about all the shapewear that they sent me. So look out for that video. It's gonna be a good one. I'm literally gonna enter the video with my skin set on and I didn't even like mean for that to happen. But I'm going to focus on this video because sometimes it's like hard to vlog and then like film at the same time. So I'm gonna focus, pull my outfits and get started. Hello, I just finished filming my skin's haul. But now I have to do like the intro and outro. I actually have this problem where I stutter. Like I don't know what it is about me, but I just like cannot get my words out sometimes. And then I just like get in my head about it. And I will literally like start the word like a hundred times before actually saying what I'm about to say. It's the weirdest thing. And whenever I'm filming people for like freelance videography, and they know that I do YouTube. They're like, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you talk in front of the camera all the time, but you guys don't see me stutter and you guys don't see the mess ups because I cut it all out, obviously. Sometimes what helps me not stutter is to write down like an outline of what I wanna say. So I'm just gonna do this intro really quick. And I wanted to get some facts about like the Skims collection and everything like that. So I just wrote it down in my notes and then I'm gonna hold my phone while I film on my camera over there. One more thing I wanted to show you guys is this little guy. If you guys have a camera that doesn't have a flip screen, it's literally just a mirror and it reflects what is on the screen. You have to put your screen at a 90 degree angle and then it kind of reflects the mirror right through there. So isn't that cool? I got it off Amazon. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested, but gonna film this intro, so BRB. I officially wrapped my Skims video and I was just taking photos and like B-roll content because I got this cool idea that you'll see in my Skims video. I'm not gonna give it away because I thought it was like so cool. And, and I feel like I haven't really been super creative with my videos lately, like my sit down videos. So that was kind of cool. And hopefully it turns out well in editing, but I wanted to show you guys this phone case that I got recently from Flaunt Cases. And it's like this cow print thing. I thought it was gonna be furry because like it looks like it's furry, but it's not, which honestly is better because then I can put a pop socket on it. I just love how it's like a square phone case. It is so cool. It's so unique. I feel like I haven't really seen anything like this, so I'll go ahead and link it down below. Um, but yeah, I'm in one of the Skims bodysuits right now, and now I'm gonna do some photos, more photos, because I'm gonna take something for a sponsored Instagram post. It's currently four o'clock, and I thought I would be like done with this video a lot earlier, but I did want to like take my time. I also like filmed a TikTok so that I could just like give them the TikTok if they wanted it. And also for me to put on my TikTok because I've been really, really active on TikTok lately. One of my TikToks went viral, viral <laughs> recently and I was so excited about it. And I honestly gained a lot of followers from it. So I just felt the need to like really keep up with my TikTok. So maybe that's what I'll do next, create some TikToks. Cause I know that I need to be doing that. I just feel like I'm doing like too much fitness content right now. And so I definitely want to do more fashion content and all that stuff. I think I mentioned this in the last vlog, but I got a new vacuum recently. So we had to get rid of our old one that was in our pantry and just taking up so much space. This door would always just be like this because the vacuum was like so big and I would have to like force it shut. But now it's just closing so easily and there's just so much space down there. It's amazing. But I am just getting things ready for tomorrow. Do you guys know what this is? a stabilizer. <laughs> 
And if you guys didn't know, I'm a freelance photographer slash videographer. And honestly, I just say I'm a photographer now because I barely get hired for video work. And that's mainly my fault because I don't really post about it. But I think I like photography more because videography is a lot more work. I'm not gonna lie and I feel like in the wedding industry, photographers do get paid more, but I think videographers should get paid more because there's so much more that goes into it. Like the storyline, the the vision, the physical work. Not saying photography is not physical work and like not a vision, but I feel like video is just so much more, if that makes sense. Anyway, so I am filming a recruitment video tomorrow and I'm actually gonna be filming it for Saturday and Sunday. So I'm just gonna charge my stabilizer and all my batteries are charging currently. I need to get the battery out of this thing and charge it next. And yeah, just trying to like prepare because I feel like, especially for big video events like this, I, I get really anxious before because I'm like, okay, I don't want to forget anything. Now I'm gonna just go get my camera bag and make sure everything is in there. Ooh, I need to clear out SD cards too. So I'm gonna do that now. Thank goodness for portable chargers because I wanted to Instagram story, but my phone was on its last leg, like dying. And I was like, okay, I got this. I just like plugged it and put it on the tripod and started storing. But I am actually cutting pineapple right now. I got a pineapple at the grocery store, like a full pineapple. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna cut it. But I forgot about it. Luckily, I smelled it like just passing by. I just smelled that it was like really sweet. And I was like, ooh, that means it's time to cut. So here I am cutting some pineapple. Um, and I was just telling my Instagram stories that I literally had to like YouTube every fruit that I cut on my own the first time because I didn't know that there was a seed in a mango and so it would have been really bad if I went straight down the middle because if you didn't know there's a seed in a mango. I also just want to be better about using all the produce I buy. I was watching I think Molly's YouTube videos, Molly Bailey, and she does a lot of like health and fitness videos and she was saying how she doesn't buy a lot of produce because she knows it's gonna go bad. And I was like, honestly, you right, girl. Cause like literally it's just so hard to eat everything. Like you have such big eyes when you're in the grocery store, but then when you come home, you're like, how the heck am I gonna eat all this before it goes bad? So I'm gonna try to like actually cut up stuff and use it or freeze it. Um, but this pineapple smells so sweet that I'm actually gonna eat this. Maybe I'll use it for like a drink or something. <gasps> Wouldn't that be so fun, Ryan, if we used our, my Vitamix for like drinks? Mm -hmm. Apparently there's like a specific Vitamix either <clears throat> blade or container that you're supposed to use for like frozen drinks. And that is how they get you to spend so much money because I bought some attachments for it and it was like not cheap. So annoying. I wish it would just like come with everything because it's like an expensive thing. But honestly, I've been posting about it on my stories and so many people are like, oh my God, like you're gonna love it. Like no regrets, honestly. So I'm really excited about it. And I still have yet made my acai bowl because today I went to brunch and I was gonna do it today just because I have more time on Fridays because I don't work my you know part-time job. Um, but I obviously ate some avocado toast that I didn't show you guys. Look how yellow and bright it's gonna be a good pineapple. I'm trying to pick out my outfit to go meet my friends and wow, do I really have a neutral closet now. I have a skirt in the dryer trying to get the wrinkles out, but I have this bodysuit from Abercrombie, super cute, low back, not sure what I'm gonna do with the bra, so maybe that might not be a yes, but then I have this waif cardigan because I know it's gonna get a little colder, um, so that could be cute on top. Or I got this Amazon um, one shoulder top. It's so cute, look at this detail. How cute is that? Ryan's doing some something to his shoe, so. Up. <laughs> what, what shoes are those? These are your old Ultra Boost on cage. Okay, back to my outfit. <laughs> and then there's this top from 437, it's the Gaia set, like the top from the Gaia set. Then I was gonna pair it with my zip-up hoodie. I cannot get enough of these zip-up hoodies. So I don't know, I'll let you guys know what I pick. So this is the clean one, this is the dirty one. Oh, I literally thought that was dirty. What, really? 
Because it's darker. Oh. Uh, I can tell like the black part's cleaner and stuff, but not much of a difference. Nice. All right, so since you're a big shoe guy, what's your favorite shoe? Ever. Ever? Ever. <laughs> I like more. I mean, I don't really like sneakers that much. I think I like dress shoes more. Yeah. I really like the Viber boot. They have like the slip on, it's like a leather. Viber? Viber. Oh, I've never heard of it. Uh, yeah, it's like 500 bucks. It's like leather slipper thing, it's pretty sweet. But what is your favorite shoe that you've had? Oh, just some of my favorite ones actually. No, you said dress shoe, so which oh, is your favorite uh, dress shoe? I like those Clarks with like the gum bottoms. Like wallaby looking things? Yeah, but they're like Oxford shoes. And nice. then, what else? I like my Ons a lot. Not my favorite though. What's your favorite running shoe then? <laughs> uh, the run in, my favorite is Hoka, but I don't like the way they look that much. I like the way they look, but I actually like my Hoka's No, mine. Yeah, your Hoka's are cool. Mine are like oh. blue and little big and bulky. Oh yeah, yours does look like grandma shoes kind of. <laughs> Welcome to cocktail hour. I usually do like a Sprite Zero kind of thing because that's zero cows, but I just realized I didn't finish my ice from yesterday and honestly, it's probably not sparkling anymore, but neither is the Sprite probably because it's been a while since I opened it. So I'm just gonna actually, I'm gonna add the alcohol in first to know how much I'm drinking. So let's do that. Good old Tito's made in Austin, Texas. I'm gonna pour some in here. I don't even know how much is too much sometimes, but. I just eyeball it. <laughs> and then I have the lemon lime sparkling ice, so literally Sprite, but healthier, because I think it's only like five calories. I'm probably doing this all wrong, honestly, but I'm just doing something quick. I'm gonna add some lime. This was perfect, I had it in my fridge, like all ready to go, cut up and everything. Oops. Okay, every time I go out to eat or anything, I spill on my shirt. And since I never wear black anymore, it's an issue because everything's like white or neutral. So everything becomes stained. Like it's just a thing. And I honestly, I'm never mind. I take that back because I'm not trying to manifest that for today because this is a very white shirt. But I wouldn't be surprised if it happens. <laughs> then I'm going to take some mint and put that in there. Sometimes I feel like I don't even put enough. This is basically a healthier mojito. Whenever I order a mojito, I always expect it to be so sweet because I grew up with like virgin mojitos. I would literally always get them because they're so good. Literally just Sprite with like fresh lime and mint, you know? But anyways, now when I'm old, I order a real mojito and they do it with like club soda and not like Sprite. And I'm just like, can you add sugar or like something sweet? Like, I feel like that always happens to me and it's so embarrassing because I'm literally a child. All right, and that is the drink for tonight. Mm -mm. More ice, yeah. Oh. Before I forget, I wanted to show you guys my outfit. I am wearing this top from Zara, it's like a ribbed, Long sleeve top, very thick, which is perfect because like I said, I think it's gonna get cold. This skirt is from Princess Polly. It's like the oatmeal color. I don't know what the style is, but it's super cute, very flattering. It does make my butt look like a pancake, but it's okay. <laughs> then I got my Air Force Ones, of course. It's so nice out today. It's like 75 right now, so I'm gonna enjoy the weather, enjoy my drink on the patio outside. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed, do so right now, and follow my Instagram. It's so underscore gnarly without the G, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, cheers. Thank you again to Crest Aligner Care for sponsoring this video. All the information will be in my description box.